get off the right wheel. Here is another great training video from the new IMR Playbook series. Enjoy. Hello, brand new business partners. I'm Senior Vice President Charger Bass. Welcome to the Five Links family. We're so happy that you took advantage of this awesome opportunity. And now we're gonna talk about how to build your business going forward. But before we do that, just wanna share with you, six years ago, I made the same decision that you all made. And just like you, I had an extreme level of excitement, very anxious and eager to get things going. But also, like many of you, I didn't know exactly what steps I needed to take to get my business going in the right direction. So today, we're going to have a conversation about 10 key areas you want to focus on to make sure that your five links business gets up and running in the right direction. So, number one, why? Why five links? What was it about that presentation that made you say, this is for me? It is very important that you take the time to define your reason why, so that as you go forward in building your five link business, any obstacles that you face, any challenges that come along the way, you're able to pursue or push through those challenges because you have your reason in the forefront of your mind. So what I mean by establishing or defining your why, simply put, maybe you are retiring in the next couple of years and this is a business that's going to supplement or replace that income, that's an excellent reason to start your business with five links. Or perhaps you have children in college or soon to go off to college and you want to be able to fund that education. Again, another great reason to start your business with five links. So number one, you want to establish your why, take the time and write it down, look at it on a daily basis so that it stays in the forefront of your mind. Number two, qualification. Qualification is a term that you're going to hear consistently as you go forward in building your five links business. Now, what do we mean by qualification? Qualification simply means that you have six of the overall 25 customer points that we are required to maintain for the lifetime we have our five links business. You need to have at least six of those points. Now, those six points must come from specific products and services, all right? Number one, your PDN website, Platinum Discount website, is a must-have, and that's going to give you four of those six points right off the bat. The other two points can come in a few different ways, one of which is through our Montevita coffee and tea product line, or you can get the other two points through our TV service, our TEE, VEE, -E, okay, streaming television service. Either one of those two packages will generate those other two points, applying it to the four you have with your website, and now you have your six points. Or you can get those two points through our awesome oxygen product line. Some of those products are worth two points by themselves. For example, our Intense Relief Pain Rub, that's a two point product by itself. As long as you accumulate two or more points, you can apply that to the four you have with your website. Now you have at least the six points and you're qualified. And then another option you have is by way of our Captivita product, our 90 count capsules. That is worth two points. And again, applying it to the four with the website. And now you have your six points and guess what? You're qualified and you're ready to go forward in your business and start generating income. Number three, energy certification. Brand new partners, listen. Energy certification is very important because if you are not certified, guess what? Energy is not a service you'll be able to offer. So we want to make sure we are positioning ourselves to uh, capitalize on the residual income from all of the products and services that we have in our portfolio. We don't want to be excluded from any money that we can generate in this business. So to get energy certified, you simply go to your virtual office website, Click on Five Links Energy Training, establish an account, and then go from there through the modules, the different chapters, take the test, pass it, and guess what? You're energy certified. And just keep in mind, if for some reason you don't pass the test on the first time around, no need to worry. You can always retake the test until you pass it and now you're energy certified. Once that certification has been completed, you'll now see energy as one of the services offered on your Platinum Discount Network website. Number four, flip your house and establish a monthly investment. 
flip your house and establish a monthly investment. What do we mean by flip your house? When we say flip your house, we're simply saying that any bills that you already have in your home that you can now switch over and get from yourself via your five links business, you wanna go ahead and switch those services. So for example, if you have home security through another company, such as ADT, for example, well, instead of giving your money to ADT, you wanna switch your services and get home security through your five links business by way of our partnership with Protect America. So now you're able to lower your monthly bill, get paid off of your bill, get the points associated with that service, which in this case, that would be two points, and pay yourself a $300 bonus just because you signed up for home security from yourself. What a great deal, right? And another example of flipping your house or flipping your bills would be cable television. Instead of getting cable services from some of these other companies like Dish, Direct, Spectrum, Cox, Comcast, you wanna get the TV service that we just talked about so that again, you lower your monthly bill, get paid off of your own bill, and pick up the, so, the points associated with that service. Now, when we talk about establishing a monthly investment, okay, we're talking about money that you're going to invest into your business to keep your points, to keep your residual base going, all right? And we wanna use the word investment, not budget. I know for me, when I think about budget, I'm thinking about penny pinching and just trying to make ends meet, right? But when we hear the term investment, now we know that we can ex expect a return on that investment. So a monthly investment for you may be $100 a month, which is great. And your upline can guide you on what appropriate products and services can be used for that $100 a month uh, investment. Or perhaps you're able to invest $200 a month. Again, the a dollar amount is totally up to you. Someone else may be able to invest even more than the $200. The point is establish the monthly investment, talk with your upline, they'll guide you on what the appropriate services and products are for the dollar amount you've established. And now you've got your points, most of your points will be in place via that investment and you're building your residual base. And now you're gonna teach your team as you build your organization, you're gonna teach them to do the same thing so that your overall residual base can continue to grow, all right? Number five, create a list, all right? This is very key to building a successful five links business, all right? This list should be at a minimum of 100 people. Now, I know 100 can seem like a very large number, can be a little bit intimidating for you being a brand new partner, but I guarantee you, you do know at least 100 people. And a great place to look for those 100 names would be your cell phone. Everybody has a cell phone, and I'm pretty certain that you have at least 100 names in your contact list in your cell phone. So what you're gonna wanna do is go through that contact list, look at those names, and write them down in a notebook. All right, now I know that sounds a little bit archaic, but yes, we want to scroll through that list of names in the contacts in the cell phone, write those names down, write the phone numbers down because your list is something that you're gonna keep with you and it's always good to have a hard copy anyway, right? We're so electronic based, but you know, it's great to have that hard copy so now you can always add to the list, update information for each person that you have on the list, but make sure you establish that list of at least 100 people. Another thing you wanna make sure you keep in mind when creating that list is that you do not judge anyone. Brand new partners, listen, you never know who's gonna say yes to this opportunity. And a lot of times, the people or the person that you think will say yes to this actually is gonna be the one that says no, and the person that you thought would say no is the person that's going to say yes, okay? So the point is, we don't judge anyone. We give everyone an opportunity to hear the information for themselves, and then whatever decision they make is totally up to them. We just keep building and moving on to the next person. And number six, grand opening and three additional PBRs in your first 30 days. Now, PBR stands for Private Business Reception. You being a brand new business partner, you want to make sure you have your grand opening within five to seven days of starting your five links business. Now, I know that sounds like a short period of time, but 
We are under somewhat of a time constraint because we want to make sure that you get that quick start within your first 30 days. So we want to use our time wisely. So your grand opening will take place five to seven days of getting started. And then you're going to have three additional PBRs within that 30 day time frame. It's going to take a total of four of these events in order for you to get at least two to five new business partners. And our goal is to help you to not only get that quick start bonus, but to also position you to move forward in the pen level of executive trainer on to executive director. Now, number seven, how to invite. How you invite your guests to come to your event is very, very important. The words that you use, uh, definitely will determine what the outcome is for that event. So real quick, we're going to talk about some words you want to stay away from, the red flag words, one of which is five links. You don't want to reference the name of the company when you invite someone to come to your event because we don't want people to do their research by Googling the company, um, looking at misinformation and making an uninformed decision about whether or not to come on board with you. Also, you want to make sure you don't use words or phrases like business opportunity, uh, opportunity presentation, business meeting, business presentation. All of those are red flag words. And again, we want to make sure that you position yourself to get the best response and having people to come to your event. So you want to stay away from those red flag words simply because your friends and your family, they've been approached by other people that they know who are in businesses similar to ours. And those businesses use what's called a script. So if you use those words that are generally found in those scripts, then your friends and your family may make an assumption without giving you the opportunity to share this platform with them. Now, when you are inviting, you wanna make sure that the first point of contact is a live phone call. Listen, I know it's a lot easier to use social media and to send a text message, but really with this business, uh, you wanna be as uh, personable, personal as you can be and you want to make sure that you make that interaction. So a live phone call is the best way. That should be the first point of contact when you're inviting. And you want to make sure that you have a level of excitement in your voice when you make that phone call because we want that person to feel your energy. We want them to get excited right along with you, which in turn would make them more inclined to say, yes, they'll come to your event. Now, when you invite someone, you want to make sure that you are clear about what it is you want from them. So if I'm inviting my friend Jane Doe and I call her up and I say, hey Jane, listen, I'm giving you a call because as you know, I have two children going off to college in a couple of years. And Jane, when I started to look at my finances, the way things are right now today, I realized that if I didn't make some major changes that I would not be in a position to pay for my children's college education in the next couple of years. And I really don't want my children to have to take out student loans only to graduate in debt. So Jane, this is what I've done. I've started my own wellness business and I'm calling you because you're someone that I trust, I admire you, you're business savvy, and I really need your opinion. I need you to come to my house Saturday at five o'clock. I need your opinion, I need you to be there. Now, in talking to Jane, I told her why I started my business, which is tip number one we talked about earlier. I told her I had children going to college in a couple of years. My finances, as they are today, if I didn't make changes, I wouldn't be in position to send my children to school without taking out student loans. I also edified her. This is what you want to do with the person you're talking to just to make them feel good and make them more inclined to say yes to your request to have them attend your event. So I told her she was someone I admired. I trusted her. She's business savvy. So you want to make sure you edify, edify the person. And then I also simply told her that I started a wellness business. You want to make sure you take ownership of your business. Don't refer to it as something that you join. Don't say, I joined this company and we do this and we do that. No, you want to take ownership of the business and describe it based on the products and services we offer. So I chose to describe my business as a wellness business simply because we offer wellness products, right? You may describe your business as a security business. Why? Because we offer home security service. So you want to make sure you describe your business based off of the services and products that we offer. And then 
You want to just simply tell that individual what you want from them. I told Jane that I needed her opinion. I needed her to come to my home Saturday at five o'clock. I needed her to be there. I didn't leave any open-ended questions saying, you know, are you available on Saturday? What do you have going on? Are you busy? Can you come? No, I just said, I need you to be there Saturday at five o'clock. This is how you want to invite. And then the day before the event, you just want to simply follow up with those individuals that have said yes, that have said they will be there. Follow up with them the day before the event, just as a little reminder. Hey, Jane, just give me a quick phone call. I'm looking forward to seeing you Saturday or seeing you tomorrow at five o'clock. Just as a reminder, because people get busy and we want to make sure that we have as much of our guests in attendance as possible. Now, number eight, duplicate duplicate all right listen this is a business that has a model already in place a system already in place that has already been tried tested and proven to work so you our brand new imrs do not need to feel the need to come on board and try to come up with something different do something new no just follow the business business model follow the system and you're going to get the success you're looking for out of this opportunity now let's talk about number nine, which is learning the presentation, okay? Listen, the presentation is definitely the core of this business, and we like to say in five links, when you stand up, your income goes up, right? And we're all here to make money, and so the sooner you learn the presentation, the better for you. Why is that? Well, you don't want to become dependent upon your upline to be able to present this information for you. You want to get to a point where you're able to effectively present this presentation or give this information so that as you go forward in building your team, establishing a solid organization, you can not only help your new partners by presenting on their behalf, but also teaching them how to do the same thing. Now, as a new person, I am not suggesting that you go out right away and start presenting the opportunity. But what I am proposing that you do is to number one, take advantage of the different resources we have in place that can help you with understanding how to properly present the opportunity. Now, one of those resources is our legacy app. You wanna make sure you have that installed on your phone or your other devices. And then you can take a look at some of the awesome pre-recorded presentations that are on there that have been done by the top leaders in the company. You can also go to my.5links.com, my.5links.com, and there you'll also find recorded presentations by the top leaders that you can watch and listen to and become more familiar with how everything should be presented. Then you want to make sure you take the time to practice at home, maybe stand in front of the mirror, listen to yourself, uh, present, okay? And then you want to make an appointment, schedule some time with your upline, let that individual hear you present as well. They're going to give you some feedback, some pointers, some tips. You want to make the necessary adjustments. And then once you get the green light from your upline, now you can go out and start sharing this opportunity. We want to make sure that you present this in a polished way. We want you to put your best foot forward because first impressions are lasting impressions. So we want to make sure that you get the presentation down as soon as possible, but as effectively as possible. All right. And now, number 10 stay connected brand new partners it's very important that you stay tied in to your team stay tied into your upline because this is what's going to help you to stay focused stay motivated and learn and understand how this business works it's going to take at least two to three years for you to really get a good understanding of some of the basics of how to run and operate your business. And staying connected is definitely what you're going to have to do in order to get that basic understanding. So when we say stay connected, we're referring to number one, phone conferences. If your upline is having conference calls throughout the week, you wanna make sure that you are tied into those conference calls. Also, if there are meetings going on in your area, you need to be at the meetings. Those meetings are designed to be a place where you can go to, again, stay focused, stay motivated, be around your colleagues that are also a part of the business, but it's also designed to be a place where you can take your guests or your prospects to see other people in the city that are affiliated with the company outside of yourself 
They'll be able to hear the opportunity presentation and then hopefully go ahead and come on board and partner with you in this business. Staying connected also means that you are participating in corporate events. We have several different events that take place throughout the year, like our boot camp training events, then we have our regional events, and then we also have our national convention. All of those platforms are gonna be awesome opportunities for you to be connected around other people who are a part of the company, hear from the top leaders, the top producers in the company, learn what it is that they did to get to the levels that they have been able to achieve so that you can go back to your home and do the same thing. Now, with that being said, these 10 tips that I just talked to you all about, again, are gonna help you to build your business and take it to another level. Please, new partners, know that we're excited to have you be a part of this company. Just remember to stay focused, stay committed, all right? You wanna make sure you commit at least two to three years to building your business at a bare minimum. And also remember, to stay tied in. If you do these things, then you're going to get exactly what you came to get out of this five links opportunity. So with that being said, welcome aboard. I'm Senior Vice President Charger Bass, and I'll see you at the top of the comp plant.